So today we are out for a stroll with Taro Murata and he's gonna tell you what that is and what we're expecting to catch. Well, we're looking for pike and uh, guess what? I got them on my light rod setup and there ain't no pike. But whatever, you're in the strike zone. Good things are gonna happen. And that's what strolling out does, you know? Keeps you in that zone. You're marking fish. Were they big pike? Probably. Were they salmon? Probably. Oh, so well, what we're doing today is strolling. And what I mean by that is we're actually trolling at different speeds with the trolling motor. There's a dial on my trolling motor, I go up and down. I'd say if I go slower and let up more line, I'm going deeper. If I go faster, short line, I'm going shallower and you can just kind of fine tune. The bite's not that easy. And uh, this kind of calm bluebird kind of day, man, that's the way to go. The old stroll and there's salmon and pike in the same spots. So, you know what I mean? Great way to comb the depths. We've got 22 feet that we're fishing. Some days are right on bottom of 22. And sometimes they're in 12, 13, where we just caught that one. Oh, is that a, oh I thought I had a bite there. Hey. Hey, that's yours. It isn't mine. Oh, yes, it is. it is. Is it? That's the one you lost. I never lost a blue silver, yes, did I? Yes, you did. It got hit twice last time we we're here, and then that's what you caught the salmon on. Oh my god, this is the lure I lost. Oh, I lost it. Oh, I lost it. Oh my god. I lost it. It sucks. This is the one I lost from strolling. <laughs> that's right. This is the one. Oh, viewers at home, uh, this is a one that we lost to a salmon the other day. It snapped us off and went ballistic. And yeah, that is my leader. Oh yeah, that's mine. And there's a snap. That's unreal. No, my line's out there. What? That's why our line's out there. I don't know why, but our line's out there. No. Yeah, it's actually attached. I was like, what? It's too perfect. There's no way. The spool's loose. Oh, that's why. You. I didn't throw it out, it was like loose. The drag must have been loose, it was pulling as we are going. <laughs> I was like, what? This doesn't hey. make sense. Hey, Look so dumb. So dumb. Marking down there. They're there, man. Whoa, the salmon. The salmon. Oh, man, he's. Uh oh, oh. Jeff. Is it a salmon or is it a pipe? It's just. I think it's a salmon. Strolling with the spoon. No, it's a pike. We went to the old stroll with the troll motor, just holding it there. Made all the difference in the world. Yep, pike. Great combo style of fishing. The old stroll. Could get salmon, could get pike. All we need is salmon now to prove the point. But if not, oh well, we cut a pike. Okay, so we were strolling a uh, crankbait and it wasn't working. It was working the other day and we started strolling a spoon instead. We're just pulling with the trolling motor in deep water. It's at a steady pace. Great way to catch salmon and pike in the same spot. And that's why I like strolling here in this deep stuff. Still strolling, but uh, it's time to stroll on out of here. But we may as well finish the straw. If you know what I mean, we need to straw. What happened, Jeff? <laughs> 1.2 miles per hour. Bang! <laughs> Is there a pike or a salmon? You sure? Oh, wait till you see this paint job, folks. You just crushed it, eh? Look at it, it's a big one. This is your biggest one to date. So this week, Taro painted some lures in his driveway. We all know Taro likes to do crazy things, but it's funny because he tagged me in that post. And then I actually just caught a salmon on that very lure that he painted in his driveway. But the real lesson here was strolling. So tell us why it worked for both a pike and a salmon. We were able to keep our lines down deeper with different style of lip baits and spoons. So on a cast, sometimes you can't let out enough line to get it down deep enough. So on the stroll with the trolling motor, you can dump your whole spool. And that lure that goes eight feet on a cast is now going down 
maybe 18 feet on the cast, you know, even a shallow lip lure. So yeah, big thing, just holding that bait in a different depth paid off. Even for a guy like Jeff with the ugly spray painted bait that I did outside on top of a cardboard box. Oh, holy cow, Jeff. New personal best. New personal best. Ow. Mud sharks. <laughs> Good job, Jeff. Ow. The stroll works even for guys like him. The stroll. <laughs> <laughs> One salmon, one pike. We proved our point. Now it's time to stroll on out of here. See you next time. Yo, Holmes, stroll you later. <laughs>